Hello, and welcome back to I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Uh, let's see, yesterday we finished off Silent Hill 2 and I just decided just to get started with this game, you know. Little, little point quake adventure, it'll take a little bit of a break. But just don't be fooled. Just because it's point and click doesn't mean it's not hard. That doesn't mean it's not dark as hell. Christ. Also, I decided to make some overlays. Um, I might have made the thorns too big. I'll kind of... I'm going to play around with it for a while. For right now, I have this. You know... Uh, yeah, I might have made it a little... I might have, I, I might have made the thorns a little too big, because I really got to squeeze the game screen in there. And the black bars, yeah, I, I can't do anything about that. That's just how the game is built. You know, it's an old DOS game, what do you expect? But anyway, alright. As I said last time, we're gonna start off our adventure with Ted. Uh, let's see. Oh, also, because uh, this game is kinda, sorta, really hard, I am using a walkthrough. Just so I don't spend 30, 30 parts trying to figure out what to do and get the correct scenario. But anyway, all right, let's do this. Hey, you're my favorite, baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. <coughs> Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, crips, cowards. Every one of them. But not you, Ted. No, man. Not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You were a brave guy. Yes, a take-charge kind of guy. So, I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out, live some kind of life. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. If you can solve the puzzle of the Room of Dark, you're home free. You out your way. Well, now, I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared. But I'm your friend. 109 years. I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the Room of Dark, and you can solve its mystery. Yeah, here's the thing, Ted's level, it's pretty okay, I just hate Ted. Video screens, each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Am want me to solve? Because he's Sorry. kind of... These video screens have palm print switches next to them. If you'll excuse me, stop interrupting me. Ted is kind of a dick. He's a... Uh... This looks like the tire swing at the farm I grew up on. What does Am know about my childhood? Is he taunting me? He's a... Uh... He's kind of a pathological liar. And hang on, let me adjust. He's a pathological liar, and he's a uh, very... Ah, uh... Uh, what's the word? Uh... Pretentious? Yeah, that's a good, yeah, that's a good way to put it. He is extremely pretentious. He, you'll see. A forest. Not one to go hiking through. This forest is dark, foreboding. Basically, what we have to do is we have to pick the smart, why the correct show me monitor. A rooftop? Why not a door? And why this particular rooftop? Don't question this. A castle right out of the Brothers Grimm. I feel like there's something watching me from the windows. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean by pretentious. I never liked going to the circus. All those clowns with their phony grease paint smiles. You can't tell what they're really thinking. Mmm, projection much? But anyway, it really doesn't matter because I already know this part of the puzzle. You gotta use this a one. Castle. A castle. I said right use it. Castle. Right out of the brush. <laughs> Yeah, all the other ones I think is just. Plotting this time. He's left me here alone. 
intrigue is plotting this time. Jesus Christ. Uh, gargoyles. This gargoyle is even larger than those of Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. Yeah. This motherfucker is pretentious. So typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Jesus Christ. Appearances, everything. Jesus Christ, I thought I was bad with uh, big words like that. But no. No, apparently I'm not. Christ. All right. Uh, like I said, this is kind of a difficult campaign, but at the same time... This door looks built to withstand quite a determined assault. I never realized that a knight's armor was so heavy. Yet yeah, no How shit. Were they ever able to fight? Uh, they probably lifted. Do you even lift, Ted? Christ. All right, let's just have a look around. So many women have called me their knight in shining armor. I doubt it. But never Ellen. Hmm. Speaking of Ellen. Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, just so for future reference, there is a door right here where the pe where the crosshairs are, but we'll get there later. Right now, we got to visit Ellen. Ellen. Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? Yeah, I think you don't love her. I think it's more or less a projection of. Uh, her being the only female on the planet. It's not really a projection, but you know. You know, with limited options, you kind of have to make do with what you got. Oh, Ted. So tired. So weak. Did Am do this to you? Yes. Maybe. I, I can't tell. They whisper in my ear, and this bed is so soft. Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. <laughs> Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me but death. No, I won't let you die. I can't take this suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured. Help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again. Not even in death. Yeah, that's uh, some very uh, subtle foreshadowing as to the predicament of Ellen. No, don't go. I need you. We need you. If you really care for me, Ted, bring me my hand mirror. Ah, uh, we got a little uh, spiritual meter. Why do you want a mirror? My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my illness. I know it, but she doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. All right, let's try and look for the mirror. <laughs> Perfume bottles, jewelry boxes, but no mirror. Ellen! Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Uh... I looked no. on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. Alright, so we gotta get Ellen out of this predicament, despite the fact that I am convinced that this is just an illusion created by Am. Alright, and with that... Excuse me. Alright, with that we will look at the walkthroughs. The exit of the room... Main room... All right. All 
right, let's get, uh, let's see, room to the right. I'm assuming that meant this one. This room. Yeah, no, I know. I all around me. Okay. Glass. Pieces of a broken mirror. <laughs> let's take it. Ow! I cut myself. Yeah, that's why you're, yeah, that's why you have to be careful, dipshit. All right, uh, let's see. Look at Bed. A cold draft blowing across the bed like from an open grave. Dude! <sighs> open graves don't feel like that. You're being, you're, uh, you're, this is you're exaggerating. books on the black arts. There must be dozens of volumes. Uh, let's see. Hmm, too bad I can't read Arabic. <laughs> From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. Fair. And here we got some more spiritual meterness. This is a catalog of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergot, opener of locks. Supposedly, he can open anything. I hope that's a fake name. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. No one gives a... <sighs> Gotta hate Ted. Uh, let's see. There's some other books. Um... Shit. There's a book in particular that we have to read. I don't know where it is. Ugh, fine. Uh, let's see. Let's see, read the dark books on the shelves, uh, get some glass at the edge of the bed. Okay. So, it looks, okay, so it looks like we gotta go back to, we gotta go back to the main room and into this place, the chapel. This looks like a chapel, but there's something unholy about it. Oh, gee. It must be the gargoyles. Oh, gee, maybe it's the gargoyles. Maybe it was the pentagram hanging above the entrance. Yeah. Just maybe. Maybe. All right, uh, let's see. All right, let's see. Da -da -da -da. All right. All right, so we just came in here just to get this uh, religious icon, so let's get out of here. And we use this with this particular door. It's almost perfectly. Oh, that's just super. The door latch is broken. Oh, shut the fuck up, you pussy. There you go. No one's getting out of here alive, I tell you. All right, uh, let's let's save again. Ted is a bitch. I can't stand pretentiousness. You know, I might use big words, and you know, I've known people that use big words, but. He, this guy takes it to a whole nother level. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, we gotta speak to the cook. All right, sweet. Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. I'm sure. This is a place where servants do all the work. Mm. Aside from the dishpan hands and wrinkles, this scullery maid has quite a body. Certainly wouldn't kick her out of bed. <laughs> Little do you know. Excuse me. Do you work here? Why, of course I work here. 
Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Dumbass. Say, you're a handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these parts. Yeah, they're probably all dead. What happened to Ellen? <laughs> Lady Ellen? Oh, she's been ill and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. The beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. Oh, hell no. Where can I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare, what with an ugly woman in charge of the castle. True. Please, I need to find a mirror. And you are what I need. Oh, hell no. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my bed. Alright, we're not supposed to sleep with her. Even though... That's a flattering offer. I don't think I want to do that I'm anyway. So, yeah. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? How would you know anything about anything? Sorry, but it's out of the question. Oh, what What's am I matter? saying? Aren't I good enough for you? Not classy enough? Not rich enough? I'm sure you're a fine woman, but my heart belongs to another. Yeah, we, we can't. So, no, no. You're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed. Have you ever been with one? Or are you just curious? Okay, now that is. So much that is. Happier. I can, you know. Okay, that is, uh, that's a low blow. Look, I and, am not uh, going to no. make love with you. Oh, all right. I have another deal for you. Mm -hmm. The oven's broken. If you can fix it, I'll get you a mirror. Hey, big boss. Uh, I'm still playing this game even though it is dark as hell. This oven is similar to the boilers I maintain in St. Louis. God, God damn it, Ted! I those days. Ted, you pretentious fuck. Uh, uh, God. Also, I got a new overlay. I kind of made it in the last hour, although I think I made it... I think the, I think I made the thorns too big. I'll have to fix it. Uh, ah, there's the problem. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. As opposed to dirt under your fingernails from crawling through the muck and the mud through Am. <sighs> All right, bitch, there's your fucking oven. Now where the hell's the I mirror? fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? Sorry, I don't know where a mirror is, but at least now I can finish dinner. D dude Why, you used me, you bitch. Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony. Yeah, she hits the nail right on the head. I will admit that. Okay, anyway, so, okay. So, since we just repaired the oven, I guess the only thing to do is to get the hell out of here and away from her. Also, we gotta go back into the chapel. What? Hmm? Hmm. It's so unlike Am to provide light when he knows how frightening the dark can be. Indeed. He's up to something. Hmm. One of these, uh, one of these has to be a switch. It's bolted to the wall. Come on. There we go. Passage. What's waiting for me up there? Uh, oh, don't worry. Nothing you haven't already Some seen. Some sort of demonic rituals must go on here. I like what it. In God's name have I stumbled onto? I like these the most. They're very nice and cool. All right, let's see. Uh, all right. Uh, oh wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Um, 
crap. Okay, there is something I definitely do need to do. I just don't know where it is. Oh, oh, it's right there. Is it in here? Ah, this must be the bedroom of the lord of the castle. Of course. Ugh. God damn it, Ted. Um, hang on. I've read this novel. It's about a foolish old man who believes he's a knight destined to revive the golden age of chivalry. So? I know this story. It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. Yeah, it doesn't end well for that asshole. But anyway. This looks like a diary. Yeah, diary of uh, whoever is in charge of this place. Let's read it! First passage reads... My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her, twists her. The second passage reads, The incantations I hear from my wife's infernal hmm. workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. Indeed, it might just be. The third passage reads, Ellen grows weaker and weaker. My wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. And here we have a spiritual bar meter little Becca. What the fuck did I just say? The final passage reads, The forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. I doubt that even with a full complement of men, I shall return alive, but I must try. Uh, yeah, he probably didn't come back alive. All right. This was one of my favorites. It's about how King Arthur assembled the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. What, Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Oh, God. Will you stop, OBS? Hang on, it's la the stream's lagging. Jesus Christ. Well, if you see this on the playback recording, Jesus. I hate it when this happens. But anyway, let's just continue. This is Plato's dialogue about the nature of love. Hmm. And Dante's Inferno. I know this. It's Dante's epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory. All right. Now there is a book in here. I haven't slept in this bed for ages. The sheets are coated with dust. Oh yeah, the dude's dead. Oh yeah, he's definitely dead if that's the case. There is a book somewhere in this castle. And I don't know where it is. It gives you a spell to use against a, the witch that's I, doing this all of this. Collection. Oh, wait, I think I found it. Here's a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, Complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, thinking about playing Silent Hill again. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going back to Silent Hill. Uh, ow, damn it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it after this or a couple, or uh, I'm going to wait, I'm going to do a couple more games after this. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to be playing Silent Hill 3. Ah, Silent Hill 4, I highly doubt I'm going to do that. I highly, highly, highly doubt it. <sighs> All right. Uh, anything new? This book seems to be about. No. This is a. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm gonna do uh, oh, Silent Hill bad. four. I can't... Uh, All right then. Yeah. I, I don't know when. I'm not. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I might do it after this. I might do it uh, after another game. Uh, let's see. I definitely know I'm gonna do Silent Hill three. I might do Dead Space at some point. Uh, let's see. All 
All right, hang on a moment. Okay, there's supposed to be somebody in here. Partially completed circle inscribed with a pentagram. Mm. This must be part of a black ritual. Hmm. Hmm. Crap. All right, walk through. What? It, what does it say? What? It just says ominous shadows in the chapel, and it's like, what? Where? I already broke th Oh my god. I don't think I want to know what kinds of sermons were preached here. Oh, you big pussy. Ugh. Uh... Crap. Hang on. Yeah, but the problem is, is, uh, sometimes... Ted, please... I'm working on it. Hang on. Uh... Please, hang on, Ellen. Your father went to find an antidote for your illness. That was weeks ago, Ted. My father will never return. With or without an antidote. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes. Sleep. Crap. That's what I need. It says that there's supposed to be ominous shadows that are in the chapel that you just kind of see a flicker of it, but... I... It's not there. It just isn't there. Hmm. I guess that's, that's kind of one of the main problems I really have with this game, is sometimes things happen or they don't happen according to just anything. This is the only lock I've seen in the entire castle. Indeed. Is Anne trying to lure me in, or does he want to keep me out? Probably both. Yeah, this oven is working as well as it's ever going to. Mm. I don't know how good this armor was in battle, but it's certainly doing a fine job of barricading the door. Indeed. Huh. Interesting. Alright, I'm either missing something or something's off. Although what I might end up doing is, uh... Hmm. I swear to God, if I have to look up a video of this... Gonna be pissed. Miller's icon, barricade it, made, use, oven. You see ominous shadows. And all that's all it says is just ominous shadows. Uh, fuck. <sighs> All right, you win. Christ. <sighs> I can't frickin' believe this. All right, where is it? Where are the shadows? Hang on, a uh, slight pause.
All right, Don Quixote and all the books and the journal. All right. Well, Christ Almighty. Hmm. Oh, I know it. I know what's up. Hang on. Sorry about that. Hang on. Please, I need to find a mirror. Well, you did fix the oven. Yeah. Listen, the old woman knows where the mirror is, but she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to it herself, or she would have destroyed it by now. Fair. Where can I find the old woman? Don't worry. She'll find me. Yeah, I'll bet. Is Lady Ellen prepared? There it is. As ready as she will ever be. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. Hmm. Oh, you know where it is, you idiot. Now, where did they go? You kn Oh my god. Ted, you're fucking stupid. Let's go. It's there the we witch. go. What is she doing with her hands? Some kind of incantation, perhaps? Indeed. Alright, let's do this. What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. I'm now sure. Now we can begin our ritual. Why do you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen? Her prince charming? That is true. I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. <sighs> it's a part you played many times in the real world. Indeed. What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice, a trade, Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. <laughs> it is the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. I want mm. you to break it, so that I can complete what I have started. Who cares? Uh, okay. Hmm. I ought to kill you instead. Ho-ho! Oh, do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone!
Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. Ooh. I can't bring myself to look into the mirror. I ought to. Ho ho! All right, uh, let's get out of here. At least I think that's all that there is. All right. Let's try to go back to Ellen's room. What? Oh, there he is. Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? Hmm, clever. What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. Fair. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. <laughs> it sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like school children? Hmm. Well, it's like this, big boy. In hell, we do things exactly like you do them here. Or used to do them before Am took over. Huh. Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. So... Am has officially reached his cybertronic, grubby little fingers into the spiritual world. How? What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. Hmm, fair. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. Fair. Please, go away. Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, so, okay, we had to talk to him and all that. Oh, okay, there, that's where the, okay, that's where those are. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, how do I leave? There we go. All right, we gotta go back to her bedroom, and now there are the books that I need. Well, luckily, I'm up on my Shakespeare. I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. <sighs> There's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. The incantation is Kala Ingma Thako. <sighs> uh, you pretentious fuck. Okay. Okay. Hopefully we can get through Ted's story by the time I have to get out of here. Which shouldn't be too long now, unfortunately. Alright. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen. And I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal. You don't have the ability to use the spell properly. Wanna bet? Let's say Thacko. It's hard to see with the screen. Oh, don't I? That's it. Kala Ingma Thacko. Ah, I suddenly feel so, so sleepy. <laughs> uh, would it be awesome if that actually worked in real life? 
Uh, let's uh, take this. I can't erase it. Take the chalk. Do we use the chalk? Okay, yeah, 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 that's it. Graffiti. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Graffiti. Use it. She's unconscious. She seems ready to keel over any second, but it could be fatal to underestimate her. Fair. No. It might push back. What? There we go. Why do you have to finish the circle? Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trade. Okay. Who are you? Oh, this I am is Sir. Surgut. Opener of locks. Am and I are brothers. More or less. I'm sure. Ugh. Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him. A part that he doesn't know exists. Hmm. What kind of locks can you open? I can open anything. Doors to a boudoir. Doors to another world. What were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. Fair. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return. Can you open a gate into the surface world? Now that's a tall order. And the only thing you've got is a little love. Not exactly true love, but the closest thing to it in a world of five real people. Fair. Yes. You say love has trading value? Love is a very rare and precious commodity down here. It is worth much at the bargaining table. <laughs> Betray your love for Ellen, give me her soul, and I'll open the gate to the surface world. Oh. How about taking the witch's soul instead? No, I don't want that old hag. Fair. I want something that you value. Let me think about your offer. Don't think too long, human. There are other players in this game, and I won't be able to keep my offer open forever. Sure. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, he has to unlock the the bedroom. Let me think about your offer. Don't think too long. Why is it not prompting it? Okay. Hang on a moment. Where the hell'd she go? All right. The door's locked. Okay, now let's try to go back upstairs and figure this out. Yo. Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy. But this planar travel has sapped my energy. Mm. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. Okay. Here, bro. Oh, that's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? There. It is done. Trivial little task, one not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's <laughs> boudoir is now open for your inspection. Thank you. 
I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you... Sure. All right, let's get the hell in here. Hmm, this must be the servants' quarters. Hmm, indeed. Let's look about the place. And the scullery maid was right. This is a very cozy bed. Yeah, don't get any bright ideas, jackass. This is so cracked, I can barely see myself. Trust me, it's not worth looking at. Uh, what about the chest? How quaint. A hope chest. I'll bet that maid is eternally hopeful. Ugh. They all want their knight in shining armor. These things would only interest a peasant. Besides, I don't want to get caught stealing. The devil's looking into a hand mirror. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, what's up, bruh? I've seen the tapestry in the maid's bedroom, and I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right, I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good, someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? Wait, what the hell does that even mean? Fuck. Who are you? Do not fear me. I am an agent of the Lord. You know what's messed up? Um... In the intro to this game, it uh, Am was uh, talking to Nimdok about his days in uh, the camps, and about uh, Joseph Mengele, and the guy that voices Mangala in this game is also the voice of the angel that we're talking to. What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. Tell I me that's not to fucked guide up. Her soul to heaven. This game goes there. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. <laughs> Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They Indeed. repel some and attract others. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Indeed. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Indeed. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. Too he bad. has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Please, save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. Why should I believe you? All right, where the hell's the mirror? Uh... What? What? Are you ki- Oh my god. Are you serious? That's where the mirror is? Jesus Christ. It's in Dante's Inferno. Mirror, right between the Inferno and Purgatorio sections. So this is where the devil hid it. Jackass. Oh, that is cheesy as fuck. And hey, guess what? Guess what? I'm gonna save. Why not? Pretty much. My, I am gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge 
right into myself. <laughs> Jackass. Ted. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. When the ugliness infected her, she broke just about every mirror in the castle. <laughs> to go with him? Perhaps there is salvation for me, Ted. If only I could look into my mirror. I found your mirror, Ellen. Then show it to me. Let me see my face one last time. Okay. Oh, I look so tired and empty. It's time to sleep. Sleep for it. Is now safely in heaven. My Good. time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. Got God it. Bless you, Ted. Later, dude. Alright, let's get the hell out of here and go back up to the pentagram room. Well, this was aggravating and difficult to the point where I questioned why I started this game. But no matter, we're already, we're more than halfway through it. Uh, use mirror with the circle? Is this how I do it? What happened? How did I get trapped with this <laughs> demon? I brought you some company, Sir God. That was damn stupid, human. Who cares? Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. That is a fair you observation. Think responsible for that? Am. Why Am's responsible for our suffering? Not just Am. He's clever, but he doesn't do much original thinking. Mm. He works best with outside research. Uh... Research that one of your party carried out. You're ruining everything. Shut up. You shut up. One word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say holy Moses. <laughs> I should strangle you now and save Am the trouble. Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon. I'm the established character. You're not even supposed to be here. When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. <laughs> Human. Ted, let me out of this circle. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Okay. Let me out before this pompous old force me to death. Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. But bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise. <laughs> Just the surface world. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to accomplish. Oh, too bad, Ted. <laughs> Blithe in sweet agony. With the knowledge the surface world is no longer habitable to your kind. No, not to who among you shall go next? Well, that was fun. Sort of. Kind of. Ted's a bitch. Alright. So, one thing I definitely do... Uh, let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, since this is my, uh, you know, my shorter stream days, uh... Well, I'll probably have to end it here. But I will do this. New save will be... New save. Next time we will do Ellen. And Ellen's story is really, 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 really messed up. I mean, both Ellen and Nindok, their stories are pretty messed up, but, you know, and that's kind of why I saved them both for last. 
is they're messed up and I just like them better because they put a little bit more effort into them than say I don't know Ted Ted's a bitch but anyway so um yeah I think that's it also I will be working on the overlays like I said I think I made these things a little too big but you know I had it like an hour uh hour to like a 30 minutes to an hour to do it and I was just rushing just to see if I could actually do it but um um, I, th I think that'll be it. So, I hope you had a good time. Uh, the links to my uh, Twitter and YouTube page are in the description down below. You don't have to follow me on Twitter. It's just for updates. And the YouTube is just an alternative way to watch my old streams. I will be coming back with uh, this game next week. Uh, you know, uh, Sundays and th Sundays through Wednesdays are my usual stream. Uh, 11.30 a.m. to to, uh, or not 10:30 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I might intermix Yakuza Zero and some I'm Boards in there too. So, um, I think that's it. So, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed the stream, and remember, play spooky games and stay wicked. Until next time. <laughs>